Hey guys, what's up? I am a bit of an idiot. A bit of an idiot. Um, today I had a job interview at a marketing firm, or what I thought it was a marketing firm. I thought, you know, a firm where you go in, office type environment, pitch proposals to clients, do writing, editing, you know, that kind of thing. It was not. I had a Zoom interview yesterday that went really well, and then they told me to come in to shadow a girl today. And so I met with her, but really what it was was a second interview. And she dropped the news that it was a direct marketing firm, which I didn't, I guess I just never understood what direct marketing was. I always thought, I don't know, I didn't know what that was. So direct marketing, she told me what they do is they go door to door and they sell Verizon Fios. Like, just a salesman. I don't know why they just don't put salesman, saleswoman, salesperson on the job posting. Like, direct marketing, I guess, I don't know. It's a fancy way to put it. But I realize that is not what I want to do. Not that there is anything wrong with that. That is just, it's not what I want to do. It was a six day a week schedule. I thought it was a salaried, but it was really performance based commission. It was just a lot. I, I'm sure I could do it. I'm sure I could do it. I'm sure I could do sales, but do I want to do it? Do I want to spend my nights doing it? it? It went into the evening. Not really, not really. So I wasted my time, but you know, interviews are always good experience. It's always good to have that experience talking about yourself and pitching yourself. So I'm not, I'm not mad at it. And now I understand what direct marketing is. Thank goodness. I don't know why it took me this long to understand, but yeah. Now I'm going for a walk. I have wanted to go to this park in Woodbridge for a while. I keep seeing really cool pictures of it on Facebook. So I'm here. I'm going to go for a little walk. I'm not dressed for it. I have a dress on and some like heeled booties, but um, maybe I'll change my shoes. Maybe I won't. I'm going to bring you guys along. If you guys want to give me some support today and oh my goodness, I need some support. Um, please subscribe to my channel. It's free. It would make my day and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm, whatever. So yeah, let's go take a walk. I, this park is really, really cool on Facebook. Like the pictures look so neat. So yeah, let's go check it out. Here is where we are. Neabsco Regional Park. I don't know if that's how you say it. I kind of want to call it Nabisco, but I think it's Neapsco. I don't know, we'll see. I started walking and I've already passed a couple of these kind of workout areas. These are interesting. I wonder how many people actually use them. Let's see. Oh, it tells you how to use each thing. Balance board, stand with feet securely on balance board. Oh, this looks like something I would definitely get hurt doing. Oh my goodness. Oh my, okay, I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I don't know. Could I try? Let's try. Pray for me. Ah! I did it. That's actually really fun. Oh my gosh. That is fun. Now I'm just kind of walking on the path by myself. Man, this is actually turning into a beautiful day. Well, a beautiful day for January. Oh wait, it's not January. February, a beautiful day for February. Here's another workout area. It's funny because I always think of the 80s or early 90s when I see these. I don't think of them as being as popular now. But these don't look like they've been around that long. Hmm, this is this is some hardcore stuff. I don't know about this. This is like chin-ups or something. We're not gonna do that. Body curl station. Ages 13 and up. Don't be trying to curl your body if you're under the age of 13. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. There is water here. Wow, 
This is a great park. Oh my gosh, and it looks like the boardwalk goes on so long. Oh, I'm excited. Wow, this is beautiful. Neabsco Creek Boardwalk. How pretty. I just met a really nice couple who told me the walk on the boardwalk takes about 15 minutes to the other side and they saw some herons out here. How fun is that? This is neat. This is what I saw on the Facebook page that looked so enticing. I just feel like I'm in another place. I don't really feel like I'm in Virginia anymore. And I love that. <laughs> I love that when you go somewhere and you're transported somewhere else. I love the little animal signs along the walk. This one says Northern Water Snake. Here's an osprey. This is nice, they have some seating here along the boardwalk. What a great spot. Very chill and quiet. I just saw a guy with a huge camera. Put my little Canon G7X to shame. So I guess people like to come out here and take pictures, practice their photography. I could definitely see it being a nice spot for that. This is definitely a very serene place. And a fantastic spot to walk, which is probably why there are a good number of people walking it. Here we have the double crested cormorant? Cormorant? Man, I gotta get better at my animals. We are nearing the end of our walk. And then we're gonna have to turn around because I am not parked over here. There's a bunch of people hanging out at the end here. So I think I'm gonna turn back right now so I give them some space. You know, gotta be considerate during pandemic times. Look how blue the sky is today. Such a pretty day. I think it's supposed to snow again on Sunday. Today's Friday, but you never know. I always feel like it's super warm right before it snows. Let me know if you notice that too. Like it's always like exceptionally warm, like a few days before we have a snowstorm. I don't know. That's just what I've noticed for years. And today is a warm day, so maybe we are having a snowstorm on Sunday. That would make sense. According to the website, this is a three quarter of a mile walk. It's a nice little walk. Definitely be easy to take a wheelchair or a stroller. You wouldn't have any issues with it. I would think you do have to be careful with your kids on the boardwalk right around here because you're pretty you're pretty close to the marshland right here. And there's no like fencing on these sides. Then you get some fencing up here. I think where you're closer to the water, but right here, I could see my nieces and nephews just fall in there, or run in there. They would have the best time. It feels really good to start vlogging again, guys. Um, I pretty much didn't vlog all of January. No, I didn't vlog all of January. It feels good. It feels good to get back into it. I hope you guys are enjoying this little walk with me. So there's actually an exit straight ahead right there, but I think I might go back to the beginning. I want to check out the views of the water from over there again, because that's where the most water was. And it was just really, really pretty. So I think I'm gonna head back to the beginning. I just met a really nice photographer. She was so sweet. She was telling me how I think she might come here every day, but she said a few days ago when we had snow, this boardwalk was covered in ice and they didn't open until three o'clock. She also was telling me about how she's photographed a lot of deer here recently. She sees their like little ears popping up 
in the marshland, I guess. And she's gotten a lot of uh, photos of them. So I thought that was really sweet. This is where the water was the most full right here, or you can see the most water right by the entrance that I came in. It's really pretty. These gates by the entrance are seriously so gorgeous. How pretty. The Potomac Heritage National Scenic Trail. Good to know. I wanted to show you this. I think this is so cool. The shadows the animals make on the boardwalk. I feel like kids would love that. I am definitely on the warm side now. This coat and mask are feeling very hot. But, wow, that was a great walk. Maybe I'll try out some of the exercise apparatus before I go. That could be fun. Might be fun for you guys to watch. I used to do gymnastics when I was a kid, so this one is not gonna be hard for me. This is the assisted balance walk, where you have a little handrails. I don't need the handrails. Just, well, let's see. Oh no. Yeah, I don't need the handrails. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And now we're back to near the start where we have the volleyball net. There's a playground up there. I won't show it too closely because there's a bunch of kids playing. There's two porta potties, I must say. I used one, it smelled quite delightful. And then I have my antibacterial hand spray from Bath and Body Works with me. I totally recommend this to you guys. It's fragrance free and it's just so easy to use. You just spray it. They also have it in different scents that smelled incredible, but I love fragrance free. So I use this all the time. Oh my goodness, I can't do this. Whoa, that was a great walk guys. I am tired and hot. I never thought I would be hot in early February, but it is a warm day. The sun is shining. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure with me. Uh, please subscribe to support my channel and know when I upload. And please give this video a like if you enjoyed all of my antics. And until the next vlog, bye guys. Right across the street, from the park, there is something called the Ripon Lodge Historic Site. Next time I really wanna go there, I don't know what it is, I don't know anything about it, but next time we are heading over there.